Welcome back. We're about to present the prestigious Pioneer Award, and this year the trophy has been redesigned and sculpted by Herb Mignery. The statue depicts a country music entertainer, and this year's Pioneer Award honoree defines the word pioneer. And to explain this statement and present the award, here's our 1989 Pioneer Award recipient, the legendary Buck Owens. Thank you. Thank you. Boy, I'm glad to be anywhere at my age, I'll tell you that. <laughs> you know, giving the Pioneer Award to this particular honoree tonight is going to be real easy for me. Because I like him as a man. I like his singing as an artist. He commands my respect and the respect of millions of country music fans. While on RCA records, he was second only to Elvis Presley in total sales. That's one more reason he's earned the title of Pioneer. And that'll become clear to you as we tell his story. Watch this. Here's some angels in the morning. Over like the devil and you get high. Charlie Pride grew up in Sledge, Mississippi. Taught himself to play the guitar at the age of 14 and then went on to a professional baseball career, which he was forced to abandon because of injuries. But baseball's loss was music's gain when it became clear that Charlie Pride had a great natural country sound. <laughs> you know, on his way back home to Rosine and the kids in Missoula, Montana, after a tryout with the New York Mets, Ch Ch Charlie stopped in Nashville one day and he auditioned for manager Jack Johnson. Uh, you were too good to be true and I thought that somebody had put, hired an imitator or something. And that's the reason I asked you after you sing for me, after you sang for me rather, to uh, sing in your natural voice. But you told me this is my natural voice. I really thought it was somebody playing a prank on me. You know, well, uh, Jack became Charlie's manager and Chet Atkins signed him to an RCA recording contract. And in the late 60s, his hits like these started to appear. Just between you and me. show up in Detroit and uh, we was with some other people and Charlie made his first big concert with us that day and uh, he came out on stage and the audience, uh, you know, they didn't know what to think. But to break the ice, to Charlie's credit, he says, ladies and gentlemen, I realize this is a little unusual coming out here like this wearing this permanent suntan. <laughs> and they laughed and with each song the applause grew until it was an ovation. And throughout the 70s, it was a scene that happened again and again, hit after hit. Here's anybody going to San Antonio or Phoenix, Arizona. But no thank you, I'll be leaving alone. Today and every day. Despite his huge success, Charlie always found time and energy to lend a helping hand to new young artists like Ronnie Millsap, Janie Fricky, and more recently, Neil McCoy. We were meant to be together, no doubt about it. But Charlie, as you well know, you've been a big inspiration to me. Uh, long time, I won't say how many years, but a long time ago, you got me started in country music. You gave me my first break. 
And you've been in my corner ever since then. And I couldn't have done any of this without you and Rosine. And uh, now that I finally got me a big first hit, I uh, just want to say that you, I owe you all my success. And uh, I'm glad that I got to be here tonight and congratulate you in person. Thank you very much. Charlie, when the history of country music is written, I think one of the things I'll be, one of the most important things I'll be remembered for is signing you to a record label. And I'm proud of that. You know, when I broke into country music, I was considered a rebel. Well, Charlie, if I was a rebel, I guess you're a full-blown revolutionary. And the way you did it was with your pure country sound and your natural talent, warmth, and humor. And nothing could be more natural or right than you receiving the Pioneer Award. You define the word pioneer. Congratulations and best wishes. Charlie, I want to congratulate you on this award. You're very deserving. And there's just one thing I'd like to ask you to do for me. And that when you accept this award, show it in your real voice. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. I thank you. But I want to say so don't applaud all night. I want to say so. Thank you so very much. And I want to say first of all, it's wonderful to be here and to my wife, Rosine, for so many years she's been with me and 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 to Buck, I want to, I mean, you brought up so many memories, I mean, Great Falls and all. I, I want, there's so many people I'd like to thank. Uh, I just saw Chad mention, uh, mention uh, uh, something on the tube that just a minute ago. I didn't hear it all, but he was the man that got me on RCA and to him and all of the people I don't have time to thank up here that was involved in helping me to uh, achieve all of that uh, I have been blessed to be able to achieve and everything. And to the Academy here, this is my first award I ever got here, and I want to say I'm not going to ever forget it. Thank you so much, and God bless. Thank you.